as investigators to continue to look into what caused a small airplane to crash on the banks of the Merrimack River Friday. Tonight, we're learning more about the pilot who lost his life. WMUR Scott Cook joins us live from the scene with more. Scott? Well, Grace, we've learned that the pilot was 23 year old Emmanuel Manny Von Volikis from Michigan and many here in Bedford are calling him a hero for downing his plane near the river and avoiding all of the apartment complexes and businesses nearby. Investigators from the FAA and NTSB continued to search the wreckage Sunday for any further clues as to what caused the small turboprop airplane to crash Friday on its final descent into runway six at Manchester Boston Regional Airport. The pilot and sole occupant of the plane has been identified as 23-year-old Manny Von Volikis from Michigan. According to his mother, Manny loved flying and knew he would be a pilot since the age of four. In a message to News 9, she says she had no doubt that Manny sacrificed himself to avoid hitting any buildings nearby. She says that's just the type of person he was. Careful, 21, that's a failure. While the investigation into what caused the crash continues, radio traffic indicates the plane was potentially experiencing engine failure on its descent. The Swearingen SA-226 was owned and operated by Castle Aviation out of Ohio. In a statement to News 9, the company's president, David Combs, says, quote, The staff and management of Castle Aviation are very saddened by this event, and our thoughts and prayers are with the family. Bedford police say the plane was transporting medical supplies from New Jersey to Manchester at the time of the crash. It's so sad here how young he was. I heard he was carrying medical devices as well. So it was, good. It was awesome to hear that he was doing something good, but it's so sad to hear he passed away. And in the meantime, investigators have wrapped up their search for the night, but they will be back out here first thing Monday morning, sifting through the wreckage to find any possible clues. We're live in Bedford tonight. Scott Cook, WMUR News 9.